chiropractor, and when people find out, they always ask me, oh, you're a chiropractor, huh? Can you check out this thing I got going on back here? <laughs> and I'm thinking, would you be asking me that question if I were a proctologist? <laughs> Can you check out this thing I got going on? <laughs> but it's a great profession, uh, helping people get well without drugs, without surgery. Um, and it's really the only profession where you can um, legally body slam people. <laughs> so that's always fun. I mean, I guess there are certain types of like prostitution where I guess you can get away with that. But <laughs> I told that joke at a club a while back, and the bouncer came up to me and he's like, "Hey, man, uh, you know, you're not the only one. I can, I can get to body slam people sometimes." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." But it's not like it's consensual. <laughs> so got to keep up with all the regulations, trying to keep up with all of the rules. And of course, the CDC is always changing stuff, right, guys? It's like you can wear your mask indoors. You can wear it outdoors. You can, I don't know how many shots do you need now? Five? I'm losing track. Um, and so I just came up with like my own idea of something they would say, like, the CDC has advised that vaccinated individuals who engage in sexual intercourse with a condom are now protected against STDs like syphilis and gonorrhea, <laughs> but should still wear a face mask <laughs> to prevent the spread of other conditions like face aids. <laughs> All right, someone told me I should make that joke into a TikTok video, which I didn't understand because I thought that TikTok was a dating website for women in their 30s. <laughs> <laughs> but so I got excited. Uh, there was a new vegan restaurant in my neighborhood. And um, it was a Mexican vegan restaurant. It was called Vajaria. <laughs> it's, 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 it's that name. You know, it's supposed to be Vegeria in Spanish, but I mean, let's face it, Vajaria. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like an STD. Right? <laughs> yeah. I, I could just imagine, you know, two, two frat boys like, bro, I was down in Cancun, and uh, remember that kind of sketchy chick I hooked up with? Well, I got a really itchy sack. <laughs> I think I got the hairy. <laughs> so I was at a men's retreat in Colorado, um, which uh, if you're wondering, you know, people ask, well, what you guys do there? I mean, it's, it was pretty much what you'd expect for a men's retreat in Colorado. You know, uh, lighting bonfires, wrestling each other in the snow, talking about our balls. <laughs> You wish you were there, don't you, sir? <laughs> oh, let's see. I was in Sedona. That's always fun. Um, I was uh, trying to find this one special spot called the Shaman's Cave. It's like everything cool in Sedona sounds like it comes out of like Lord of the Rings. Like, the Shaman's Cave, the lizards are there, the sorcerers pass. Which is fun until you're like, you can't find it, and then you got to ask somebody on the trail for directions. You sound like you're in Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know the way to the Shaman's Cave? <laughs> the Wizard of Flagstaff said it was just over these hills. <laughs> seem unable to divine its location. <laughs> you don't seem trustworthy. Would you like to join us on our noble quest? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Do you guys hear the news about City of Tempe? Just recently announced they're going to go zero waste by the year 2025. <laughs> okay, not, not too enthused. I mean, I was pretty excited. It's like a big progressive step forward, cut, you know, good for the environment. But then I got to thinking, like my office is in Scottsdale, right on the Tempe border, and I didn't want people coming into my neighborhood every morning just to take a shit. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. <laughs>